Hi, this is Pepper. So one of the questions that I have received during this last period of time speaking about the virus and this unique moment that we're in is did I or anyone that I know accurately predict that the possibility of this coming about, especially the way that it did? And the basic answer to that is no, I didn't. And no one that I know and really trust did um, either. And I did consult with a few people who I know and know well, um, a few people who are visionaries, able to see uh, in their own unique ways, and uh, as well as some astrologers that I know as well, who are um, very descriptive in their ability to forecast as well. And they didn't see it, not, not in the way that we, you and I, would consider um, accurate, not in the way that we could say, yes, this time period, to the scale, to this magnitude, what to expect, what to do, what the outcome might be, so not in that way. Certainly, we could say that there have been hints, there have been studies and models and um, research that has been done into the possibilities of either pandemics or other kinds of global scares that we um, could interpret as taking place during this time. A lot of those were done uh, years ago, up until five and even two years ago. Certainly, it's not difficult to fathom that, um, that these kind of things can happen. I think what no one really saw is to the degree, to the worldwide, um, we're all in this, it's affecting you know, every economy and the health of so many individuals, not to that scale was it seen. So what that brings up, and maybe the, the bigger topic for this short conversation, is to talk about a little bit about predictions and what they are, predictions or prophecies or visioning or some of these other um, things. So, to be brief, you know, we could say that prophecies, for instance, they are usually related to religion, to um, uh, spirituality, to time periods, and to um, governments, kingdoms, potencies, and they're usually very ancient. We don't usually use the word prophecy very much in modern times, except to relate to things that were prophesied uh, a long time ago in biblical times, perhaps, and even before them as well. So prophecies were warnings and sometimes even threats of what may happen or will definitely happen if we don't stop it or act, or maybe they were just said to will happen no matter what. And we still have some of these with us as well. So that's what we term um, prophecies then. Um, the word prediction is a word that we use frequently still, and it's used in everything from marketing campaigns to predicting the outcome, predicting a result. It's used in, um, in science as well. But when it's used in what we could call the speculative arts, then the word is used a little bit different. We are predicting that something that is maybe unknown or unthought of to happen. And so that's a different kind of prediction as well. Um, predictions, it, to be honest, it used to be not that difficult to make predictions, to go visioning, to go looking at, um, at the future a little bit, and to predict the outcome even of different worldwide things. Now that we are in this sort of um, in-between crossing over a period where we're not here and not there, but we're still in this moment in that way, actual predictions are kind of difficult. And I actually know a lot of people that have stopped using the word and um, have asked people not to inquire about those kind of things anymore, whether it's a, a, a medical thing, medical concern or, um, or anything else. So um, that's understandable given where we are right now, the accuracy of things are moving, they're shifting, and they're shifting in many different directions at once. And it makes it very hard to stabilize things enough to really pinpoint it and say, yes, that and this and here and now. Um, so what we can do now in these very accelerated times 
is to forecast, to, um, to vision, um, which means really a little bit almost similar, to travel mentally forward to the degree that we are able to. And depending on um, who we are and how well practiced we are at different things, we can travel, um, can travel forward in time, time space, in the, um, in the sort of a schism between the two, and you can see, you have to look, and then you can see how it is that things come about. You can see how it is that the energy gathers around potentials, and that's how accuracy comes about a little bit. So um, when I look, I look very much with wonder, with curiosity, with um, just looking to see what I might see. If I have any kind of agenda, it will instantly show up in what I'm doing and in what I'm looking at. If I have a desired outcome, it reveals itself. And you simply can't see as clearly when you do that because your desired outcome obviously shifts what you see. So you have to make yourself very neutral. You have to look just for the sake of looking. You're looking through a glass. You're looking through a mirror. And you're looking just to see if it's clear, if it's polished. And that's all that you're doing. Can't have an agenda. Can't have specific desires. And it's not like in your ordinary life. You can't have a desire for something to be a blessing rather than not. But when you're looking, when you're actively just looking that way, you cannot have um, that kind of a desire or you, you lose, you lose that, that gift of just seeing. So when I share with you in the ways that I do so that you, you know what I'm telling you or sharing with you, that's what I have done. Uh, in some cases, they are truly visions that I've had since I was a, a child, things that couldn't have been more than a dream back then, only they have come about and, and in more realistic ways than I could have imagined. And then other things, they are, they're just part of, of, um, of my experience because I allow them to, because I invite them to. And at a certain point, I share some of them with you. And others will just, they just exist in my own experience for now. Um, but I did want to share that with you so that you will know as well as you invite other teachings, teachers, um, uh, readings into your environment, what to expect honestly what you can see on your own certainly you could learn these skills on your own as well and um and you can see what is available to you as well notice how people describe things to you whether they are a certainty whether um it seems like there is a certain desire or a certain need to be right a certain way to say i saw that i called it um i knew it um, it was always going to be that way. And so choose wisely or as we say with anything else with, um, with discretion, um, including anything that I say or offer to you as well, please. So uh, happy to share this time with you and I'll see you again soon. Bye.